Hey guys, Munchies here. Welcome to another ZZZ video. And in this video, I'm going to be going over why Zuyuan is so good with Nicole, as well as why you would want to run a stun character with her as well. So let's get into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is Zuyuan's, uh, her skills and her core passives, essentially. So her core passive, it basically increases her damage by a percentage. So currently mine is at 33.3%. But this damage is doubled when there is a stunned enemy. So the damage increase is doubled when someone is stunned, which is why running her with a stun character alongside her in a team is preferred. Currently, there's nothing outstanding as a stun unit right now, but you can run literally anything from Kaleida, Lycan. Most people just use Anbi because you get to utilize her additional ability if you just have her in the team because you'll have Nicole as well. And as far as her additional ability goes, I don't know if it was a typo, but it says Juyuan's crit rate is increased by 30% 10 seconds after using the EX special. Um, it reads kind of funny, kind of, if you take it literally, it means that it's 10 seconds after, so you have to wait 10 seconds for it. But I'm pretty sure it was might have been a localization error, and you have the buff for 10 seconds after using an EX special chain attack or ultimate. So far in the game, there's not really a really good indicator of this buff, but if anyone knows for sure, please let me know in the comment section below. But as for right now, I'm going to assume that it's for 10 seconds after you use one of those abilities. Now, as far as Anbi goes, as I said, nothing crazy about her. She just gets extra energy for being in the team with Nicole, which allows you to use her EX special more, which allows you to stun more. So it is helpful. Now, as far as Nicole goes and why she's so good with her is she has a damage amp for ether for 25 percent alongside her defense shred so it only lasts three and a half seconds but when you use the core passive when you use her uh, special attack ex special attack chain attack ultimate whatever it applies this defense shred so almost every single ability you use with her will apply this defense shred plus the 25 percent ether amp so the Swing Jazz set is the other thing on Nicole that gives her even more damage amp for Zhu Yuan. So when you use a chain attack or ultimate, I personally do not ever use the ultimate, but the chain attack it gets used quite frequently. It amps damage for 15% for 12 seconds. So 12 seconds is actually a very long time. And you can actually utilize the whole entirety of those 12 seconds. The other thing I want to highlight is Zhu Yuan's 4-set Chaotic Metal set. So if you are running the Chaotic Metal set, this applies to you. If you're doing some other build that you're more happy with, this doesn't apply to you. But for the most part, if you are running the Chaotic Metal 4-set, every time your Corruption ticks, so after you trigger Corruption, the debuff stays on them. When you hit an enemy that has the Corruption debuff, you will trigger like an extra tick of Corruption damage. Every time you trigger this uh extra tick of damage you will get a 5.5 crit damage increase and this stacks up to six times so every time you trigger it it also resets the duration and the duration of this debuff is eight seconds so once you trigger it as many times as you can that buff that you get is going to last for eight seconds so you have a total of 33 percent extra crit damage that is possible now, in terms of utilizing all these bonuses and whatnot that come from all these sets and additional skills, core passives, yada yada, um, there is a mistake that you can make. Um, it's not the end of the world if you do this, but it does take a little bit of practice to kind of get in the habit of doing this. And what you don't want to do is immediately after you finish your chain attacks, you don't want to ult immediately. When you do this, I'll even show the damage here. So as you can see, we finished the chain attack and I ulted immediately. And this is before triggering corruption and all the bonuses and stuff. The ticks from the ultimate only hit for roughly 14.5k. And as well as the burst shots and whatever, they only hit for roughly 15,000. So you don't want to um, do this right away into the chain attack. You can chain with some burst attacks, but what you're wanting to do is you're going to want to trigger that four set bonus. So you want to get that extra 33% crit damage from the four set of Chaotic Metal. So the goal is to utilize Nicole's Armor Shred, the Swing Jazz set, and the Chaotic Metal uh, four set. So what you're going to want to do is build up the corruption on an enemy as much as you can, get it as close to full as possible before you stun, like 90 to 100% almost. Uh, you just don't want to trigger it 
until you get into the chain attack. So even if you do it a little bit after, it's not a big deal, but essentially you want to do it during the chain attack. So I'm practicing doing it here, and basically when you get your stun, you want to start your chain attack off, and you'll start the timer for your deal. So you get the corruption, and you want to swap Nicole back in. So you get more defense shred and then once you get towards the end of it you kind of want to squeeze in the ult towards the end and the second half of my ult didn't catch the damage bonus because i let too many attacks off with two yuan now even though i didn't do this perfectly this is just to show how much larger the numbers are when you have these bonuses applied as you can see the ticks are hitting for hundreds of thousands eighty thousands they're much higher and as you can see when it drops off the damage goes back down to that fourteen thousand so in a nutshell, basically you want to utilize uh, that bonus stun. So when you stun something, Juyuan gets double damage bonus for her core passive. And you want to utilize the corruption bonus from the four set of chaotic metal. And you want to utilize the swing jazz bonus. And you want to do these all in unison. Um, you can't do it at the same time, but you can let them off in a manner to where you can utilize all of these set bonuses, damage bonuses and everything to where you can just deal an absurd amount of damage with uh, Zhu Yuan. It does take some practice. I'm still personally practicing it myself to build kind of like that muscle memory of, you know, when to switch back and whatnot. But moral of the story is you don't want to just ult right away out of the chain attacks. When you uh, start doing this, you kind of want to ramp up your damage before you ult and before the damage bonuses start to fall off. And just in general, you just want to make sure you hit the enemies with uh, Nicole before you start unloading with Ju Yuan as to take advantage of all the damage amp that she supplies. And just as a disclaimer, this is by no means me telling you, hey, this is how you should play this team. Play it however you wish, build them however you like. This is just an explanation as of why these characters work so well together. I wish they allowed Bang Boos in the training simulator room so you can kind of see how they work alongside it as well as boss monsters, but that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything of that sort, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and sub on the way out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.